Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Emmerdale spoilers, as Belle reaches her lowest point, she spirals further and begins to hear voices in her head. Friends and relatives are worried about her, as she finally told the police about the abuse she had been subjected to and admitted to hitting Tom with an axe last week. How is she going to handle this? Spoilers for Emmerdale, Belle's Pain After months of verbal and physical abuse from her husband Tom, Belle snapped and used an axe to stab him in the back during a fight. To mention a few of his horrible deeds, there are many, he surreptitiously recorded her, made fun of her, and told her he had killed her dog, Piper. After the axe assault, Tom offered that if she retracted her abuse charges, he would not report her to the police. But Belle did not give up and told the authorities that she was the one behind the attack. She also told them about the horrifying abuse she had received. Tom was apprehended in another place and hurried to destroy a tablet that contained proof. When Moira witnessed the damning evidence of Tom's abuse, she had a seizure and forgot. Belle attempted to spark her recollection, but to no avail. Tom is ecstatic and has been boasting about being able to walk free. It's safe to assume that Belle is under a lot of stress. And it appears that it will eventually overwhelm her, Belle's battle with mental illness. The following week on Emmerdale, Belle will be extremely distressed when Mandy unintentionally discloses that Kane told Zack about Tom's abuse and Belle's struggles, a topic they talked about behind her back. Her fans seem to be few and far between, since everyone finds the villainous Tom to be utterly endearing. When a bouquet of flowers bearing condolences shows up at Belle's door unaccompanied, she becomes even more uneasy. Is there a threat here? She panics, thinking Tom is telling her to be quiet as a warning. Lydia and Sam worry for her mental well-being when she violates her bond requirements and approaches Tom out of a sense of disorientation. In addition, Belle is completely lost in the absence of her father's counsel and insight. But things become worse when D.S. Foy shows up and takes her into custody for violating her bail. She is threatened with incarceration at the station if she gets in touch with Tom once more. Belle detects voices. Though she is privately fighting inside her thoughts, Belle presents a composed front to outsiders. But Lydia worries that she's not managing. We quickly learn that Belle is drowning in voices, but she is frantic to hear her dad's soothing voice, the only actual voice in her thoughts. Belle is obviously at her lowest point, which greatly worries Sam and Lydia. Can they save their loved one from death? Is it already too late? After his altercation with his nephew Aaron Dingle, Kane Dingle emerges unscathed, but there's something he needs to say in future scenes. In the meantime, Chaz Dingle confides in her family following her breast cancer diagnosis, will she and her son Aaron be able to move past their differences? As Jai Sharma's rage persists and Lydia Dingle wonders about her marriage, Nicola King struggles with how to support her daughter Angelica. Ultimately, Charity Dingle's trauma causes her loved ones to experience anxiety. Next week, six spoilers for Emmerdale. Kane Dingle's confession following his near-death experience when Kane wakes up, Moira Dingle, who is sitting at his hospital bedside, is relieved. Chaz and Mackenzie Boyd show Aaron their disdain by making it obvious that his actions are the reason for everything. Although the doctor suggests Kane remain in bed, Kane chooses to go home on his own. Liam Cavanaugh is taken aback to see him back home so quickly as the Dingles unite around Kane. When Kane takes more medications, Moira worries, and when he rushes out the door, she becomes irate. But Moira is shocked when he comes back and tells her what's been bothering him. What does she hear from Kane? 2. Will Chaz and Aaron Dingle make up after learning that Chaz has cancer? Aaron, who feels like a complete outsider, muses on his next move while alone. Liam is afraid that she is eager to conceal her disease while they talk about her diagnosis in the meantime. Chaz ultimately decides to tell the Dingles after Liam pushes her to confide in her family. When Chaz breaks the news to the clan during a fight at the Woolpack, they all start to cry. Chaz is surrounded by his astonished but receptive family, but Aaron stays apart. When Chaz sees Aaron go, she is devastated to hear that he intends to return to the village. Mac tries to communicate to Aaron so that he would follow him and make sense, but Aaron is not interested in conversing. 
Will Mac be able to get Aaron's mindset changed? After helping Chaz inform their young daughter Eve about her sickness, Patty Kirk and Chaz later had a reflective moment. Although Chaz is grateful that the cancer was discovered early, he is afraid for the future. When Chaz decides to take Eve on vacation without him, Patty is angry, but as they part ways, Mandy Dingle surprises Chaz by giving him a large sum of money. 3. Nicola King is fighting for Angelica's safety. Nicola is dejected when she gets back from leaving the council, and she and Jimmy are worried when they inform Angel that she would be appearing in court on the day that she admitted to being the driver when Heath Hope passed away. Nicola is informed by Ethan Anderson that Angel will probably get a jail term, and when Jimmy acknowledges that he was the one who encouraged Angel to lie, Bob Hope becomes enraged. Though Jimmy isn't sure this is the wisest course of action, Nicola begs him not to inform Angel that there is a chance she could receive a jail term. When Nicola tries to find a way out of the problem and advises that Angel enter a not guilty plea, Jimmy is taken aback. Jimmy challenges this, and Nicola concedes that they can assist their young daughter without forcing her to lie. As Nicola and Jimmy leave with Angelica, they notice Bob and Brenda Walker, who are relieved that Kathy Hope's accusations have been dropped. However, what will become of Angelica? 4. Lydia Dingle's worries as she gets closer to Sam. Sam and Lydia are taken aback by a little chemistry that they have. Despite their improving relationship, Lydia has not allowed her husband to touch her since Craig Reed sexually assaulted her. Lydia worries that Sam won't be interested in her next week and won't want her anymore. Is she, however, holding the wrong end of the stick? Is Sam able to persuade Lydia that he still desires and loves her? 5. Jai Sharma leaves his position due to a family dispute Jai gets sick to stay away from Amit Sharma, who has become a believer in the hide. Laurel Thomas is angry with Gabby Thomas for patronizing Jai, but he immediately resigns from his position. Is Laurel able to assist? 6. Charity worries about Moses because of her PTSD. Charity continues to conceal her difficulties, and she is unable to be vulnerable with Chaz Mack is still unable to reach Charity, and when Moses disappears, Moira is disturbed to learn that Charity's frazzled state was the reason. Charity, whom Moira tries to chat to, says everything is okay even though she is experiencing frequent flashbacks from PTSD and her anxiety is out of control. Will Charity acknowledge that she needs support to deal with the trauma of killing Harry, Robert Beck? Emile John, a popular actor from Emmerdale, has found a new role in a rival soap opera following the death of his character. Emile, who portrayed Ethan Anderson on the ITV soap opera, was shockingly killed off earlier this year after narrowly escaping a hit-and-run attempt that resulted in his friend's death in the following vehicle accident. Due to an undetected brain aneurysm, Ethan passed away just before his scheduled court appearance now that Emil has stated he will be taking up a guest part in the BBC's long-running serial drama Casualty, he will be appearing in a competing soap opera on Arrival Channel. When Emil revealed that Ethan was ending his time on Emmerdale, it startled viewers. After three years, Ethan's journey on Emmerdale has come to an end, he informed them in a post. I consider myself really fortunate to have gotten into this field by working on such a beloved program. I had the best time ever. It has been an immense honor and an experience that I will never forget to have shared the space with such amazing people both on and off screen over the past few years. Emil continued, I want to express my sincere gratitude to everyone who has followed any of my storylines during my time on the show. It has been well worth the effort to see your responses and start meaningful discussions. Greetings, Ethan gets out. Emil also responded to a fan who expressed their want to see the actor in motion pictures and on the big screen in a subsequent Instagram Q&A, Emil said, Me too, bruh, expressing his liking for this. Also me. Regarding Emil's decision to join Casualty in order to carry on with his soap opera career, a source confided in The Sun, saying, Emil took a chance by leaving Emmerdale, but he wanted to explore and it appears he made the correct choice. For many actors, appearing on Casualty is a rite of passage, and he thoroughly loved his time there. Soon after Ethan's on-screen death, Emil bid farewell to Emmerdale viewers in a video that the show shared with its audience. Good evening, guys, he greeted soap opera viewers. The fact that you are viewing this indicates that Ethan Anderson is no longer in the town due to his untimely death. I would want to express my sincere gratitude to the entire cast and crew that I have had the pleasure of working with for the past three years. It's gone by so quickly. Many members of the cast have adopted me as one of their own. 
I've actually learned a lot on this adventure, which has been quite the experience. I would want to express my gratitude to all of the viewers who have continued to tune in and follow Ethan's adventure. Many thanks for it.